Okay, welcome to, to some tips on how to live success to seven other people and keep the place clean. This is a little tutorial about the dish drainer. And when living in community with seven other people or more, it's important that this space is kept empty. So uh, whenever you can, pick up something and put it away. Keeping it empty. Now, as you can see, this is quite a hazard. Right here is a knife that's precariously perched. It might fall off or I could reach in here and inadvertently and cut myself. So knives always go back in the knife slot. Okay, it's best to avoid unnecessary hazards when living in community. This, see this knife sticking out here? This is a hazard for anybody who didn't put it in there. And so please just rinse your knife, shake it out, and put it back where it goes in the knife compartment. Right over here. No sharp knives in the dish area, in the cutlery area. How to successfully wash dishes. So as soon as you're finished your snack or meal or whatever, just do a quick rinse and wash um, instead of having dishes piling up. It's a good idea to empty a few things, make some space for your dishes. Then Let's see if I have a pot I'm washing. Wash it. Generally, don't put that in the dish rack. It takes up too much space. Put it over here, top of the stove. Once it's dry, it can go back up to where it belongs. And then wash your dishes. And if it's something like a, a little mug, you can uh, flip the wire off, put it on the shelf. So we uh, just sponge it. The plates we put in here usually. And at the very end, just squeeze out the sponge. Nothing, nothing worse than a soaking wet sponge. Okay, when living in community, it's great if um, you do one thing extra. So leaving the kitchen or the bathroom or any space cleaner than when you found it. So in this case, I could wipe the counter of any additional water spills, keeping this beautiful counter nice and fresh and clean for the long term. And also, this wasn't mine, and so I could wash it, taking care of somebody who may have just forgotten or was rushing about doing something different. Okay, a couple things around fire safety in the house. So, using the uh, kitchen here, Burner. And a lot of times what happens is you're cooking something and the phone call, phone call will go or you want to go outside and, and pick something from the garden and uh, so you might just be tempted to walk away but always, always like turn it down, first thing, hear the phone, whatever, turn it right down to number one or two. Never leave the kitchen with flames going higher than low. If fire ever does start happening, there we go. There's some um, baking soda for grease fires right above the stove. And over here against the wall, there's... Okay, so when um, using the bathroom, um, you may turn on, choose to turn on the fan for 10 minutes or less. And so you just turn on the dial and it comes on. Um, the other reason you may want to turn on the fan is um, during a shower, especially during a warm shower. The window also opens and that's really useful, but if you feel that it's too cold, um, you can turn on the fan. And if you take a short hot shower, 15 minutes or less on the fan should be fine. Um, you pull the shower curtain, these things tend to fall off, but you pull them from the top, they don't fall off. This thing does unhook. I find the best position is usually here at the end. Some people balance it. I also put it in other spots. So it fits best in the end. Sometimes like this, it kind of droop down, but it's like that. So you have your shower. Once you're done, um, just do a quick squeegee. The walls. Quick squeegee the floor. 
and then dry yourself in the shower. Keep the moisture down. I'm getting on the floor. And then usually after it's out again. And if there does if there are a bunch of spills, there's a cloth underneath the sink. You can wipe up any spills or puddles. And uh, if need be, swish out the toilet, uh, anything remaining in the toilet with the brush, and reflush if necessary. It's also important to clean the sink, and there's a, a little uh, cloth here for cleaning the sink. Wiping the sink, doing an additional amount, if there's toothpaste left in there, if you left hairs, or if there's dust, um, you know, every day or so, there is dust that collects, and so wiping all the spit or anything else that needs to be wiped.